Let's Knit Together is made possible by your generous contributions. Hi there, I'm Kat. Let's Knit Together. Before the holidays last year, I was reading the Spin City Group on Ravelry, and Kathy was asking if anyone would be interested in spinning some kiviet. Kathy's friend Rebecca had picked up some kiviet from the bushes when she was on a trip to Greenland. Kathy is a knitter, but neither of them spin, so I agreed to spin it for them. So now this project is the work of three people, Rebecca the fiber collector, Kat the spinner, and Kathy the knitter. First I asked Rebecca if she could remove the guard hairs, the thicker coarse hairs, from the kiviet fluff. After she finished that, we met in Columbus Circle and she gave me a bag full of the de-haired cream-colored fluff which I washed and dried. Boy, did that smell up the house. I tried using hand cards alone to prep the fiber, but it still had flakes of skin which made it difficult to spin. I used combs to remove it and that created a lot of waste, but I continued on. I spun up the kiviet with my laceway golding spindles and wound them onto my makeshift bobbins. I realized after all the waste removal that there wasn't much usable fiber and the singles I had spun up when plied together would only be a small amount of lace weight yarn. So I found some tufts of silk that was really close in color and spun that into a single. I'm going to ply these all together and after it's washed and thwacked it goes on to Kathy for knitting. A couple of weeks ago I traveled on business to Hamburg, Germany. I had a little time for myself and decided to use Google Maps and find the nearest yarn stores. When I did a search, it came up with 13 stores within a 5 kilometer distance from the hotel. Two were pretty close to each other and one other was in the opposite direction. So on the first day, I trekked out from the hotel for a Hamburg yarn crawl on foot. First I headed toward the lake and past the train station then down to Eppendorfer Weg, where I stopped at Woolladen, a cute shop which had hand-spun and hand-dyed yarn and fiber. After picking up some hand-dyed Irish wool, I headed toward Karl Schneiden Passage to visit Purper Wool and Textiles. The shopkeepers there were nice, and they spoke English very well. They sold Gedifra, Rowan, Filatora de Crosa, and lots of sock yarn. I left there with some beautiful pink Italian lace weight cashmere and some crazy sock yarn. After walking for several hours on only two hours of sleep on the plane, I decided to head back to the hotel and get some sleep. On the last day of the trip, I found myself with some more free time and after 45 minutes of walking, I got to Wansbecker Chaus, where I stopped at Wool Boutique, a quaint shop set up with tables for group knitting. The shopkeeper and I exchanged a few English words about the popularity of sock knitting in Germany. I left there with some Osterman Opal and Trekking sock yarns. I really enjoyed this Hamburg yarn crawl. The shops were fantastic and the people were so sweet. But why is it that I was in Germany and no one had ever heard of Wollmeise? These are some of the projects I'm working on. This is the Elizabeth Zimmerman's baby surprise jacket for my niece Nicole's first birthday. I made it in Cherry Tree Hill Super Sock DK and Knit Pick Swish. I just need to weave in the ends, sew on some buttons, and ship it out this week for her big day. This shawl is from the Mystic Light Shawl Knit Along. It's a mystery knit along where clues for the project come out every week. This is the second yarn I've started knitting this project with. I had picked out the Ellen's Half Pint yarn, but after I started knitting the first clue, I realized that the colors were too contrasting and didn't work with a top-down triangular shawl. So I cast on again with Alchemy Bamboo yarn, and now I'm trying to catch up with everyone else. On the Let's Knit Together Ravelers group, we're having a knit along. We're all doing this beaded bracelet from the Bling Bling Knitting with Beads episode. Next month, we'll be working on a small bag by Terry Ross. Come by and join us. You'll also see Connie Cutt's wire bracelet, which she completed only hours after watching our last episode. Congratulations to Jane, aka Lace Freaks, for being featured in the latest spin-off magazine for her incredible Legends of the Shetland Seas handspun shawl. I've signed up for the Rip Van Winkle spinning retreat Socks from Fleece to Foot on May 16th to the 18th. I'm looking forward to bringing my electric spinner and creating some yarn specifically for socks. 
I'm also attending Interweave Soar in October. I've been spinning now for a year and I'm excited to meet with other spinners and advance my skills. If you're going and want to meet up, send me an email at cat at listentogether.com. If you like our show, one way to support it is to buy our DVDs. The first two volumes have all the episodes from our first year. There's even extras like bloopers. Go to lessontogether.com and click on the DVD button to order. When we first started selling our DVDs last year, the shipping charge outside North America for more than one DVD was outrageous. We didn't have any control over that, but it's been resolved now. You can now get both DVDs sent airmail to just about anywhere in the world for around 13 US dollars. Check it out! Hi there, I'm Kat. Let's knit together. And today, my hair is different. <laughs>